Tune Up Music Lessons and welcome to a new video in our modern hit series. Today we're going to be looking at Jade Bird's latest release, Head Start. I'm going to break it into three different sections, the verse, the chorus and the middle eight. So without further ado, let's crack on and learn the song. So unlike the chorus and the middle eight that we're going to come on to, the verse is more riff-like rather than strummed chords. So we're going to be using all of our fingers, that's quite important because it's quite a complex riff and if we're just a stick using one or two fingers, it would make it quite tricky. So we're going to down pick all the notes. If you prefer to do an alternate, alternate picking or something like that, then you're more than welcome to. But in this tutorial, we're just going to stick to down picking for now. So firstly, you're going to get your pinky and stick it on the sixth fret on the low E string. We're going to pick that. After that, we are going to jump to fifth fret on the D string with third finger. So sixth fret on the E string with pinky. Fifth fret on D string with third finger. Then we're going to jump down to third fret on the D string, but with first finger. Like that. Okay. Okay. After that, we're going to move up a string, move to the A string, and we're going to use third finger to play fifth fret. string with third finger like that we're then going to play that again just just that fifth fret on the a string so okay then we're going to move down to third fret on the a string okay. and this is where the riff kind of splits into two sometimes they do one thing and sometimes the guitarist to something else. So up to this point, it's all the same. However, sometimes the kind of easier version would, would, would be to, once you've played that third fret on the A string, is to go straight back to sixth fret on the E string with your pinky. And that'll sound like this. Okay, sped up to full speed. Version. The guitarist does play it like that sometimes in the song. However, most of the time, when we get to this third fret on the A string, a hammer on is thrown in. So from third fret on the A string with first finger, you're going to hammer on to the fifth fret on the same string, the A string, with your third finger. And then pull it off too. hammer on and pull off and then back to the sixth fret on the E string so you've got more to fit in in this one it's harder and, and it's harder techniques as well it does sound cooler though okay so easy version started rotating it around then so as soon as you've gone back to the sixth fret on the on the E string you start the riff again so you'll actually have two sixth frets on the E string really close together start again start again okay so that's the verse very riff like make sure that you use all your fingers and with regards to the easy and hard version, in the real song it is alternated, but if you do find the hard one tricky, then you can just stick to 
stick to the easy version and that'll sound absolutely fine. So another thing about this song is it is palm muted. So rather than letting all the strings ring out nice and bright, like that, our right hand is just leaning onto the string slightly and that's how we're getting that muted sound. So if, if palm muting is something you haven't come across before, it might be worth checking out another tutorial on that. Um, because it is quite essential to get to getting it sounding like the original. Uh, it takes a bit of practice, but once you get it, it is a great technique to have. Now, moving on to the chorus, this is more chord based rather than riff based. So it's going to be mainly based around this B flat major chord. And we're going to create that by barring the sixth fret on the E and the B string with our first finger, like that. I'll put the chord chart up there so you can see it that way as well. We're going to play 7th fret on the G string, on the 3rd string, with middle finger. Okay, so 6-6, six, six, 7 on G string with middle finger. Make sure we're not meeting any of the strings underneath it, so we need quite a lot of angle in this joint here. Then our 3rd finger is going to go to 8th fret on the D string. Again, make sure we've got a lot of angle here, we don't want to meet any of the strings underneath. And then with our thumb, we're going to go over the top of the neck and hold down the 6th fret on the low E string like that. And also with our thumb, we're going to have it far enough over that we're also muting the A string. We do not want the A string ringing out in this chord. A is not in the chord of B flat major. Okay, so it's really important that we're muting that string there. Now when it comes to the strumming pattern, Firstly, we're going to play a down strum, and what I tend to do on this first down strum is just hit the low strings, just hit the bass strings, so say the E, A and the D string. Okay, so a down strum like that, followed by a down strum of the whole chord. Like that. We're then going to shift chord slightly, we're going to go to a B flat sus 4. So our pinky is going to just hop onto the 8th fret on the G string, directly below your 3rd finger. Okay, so pinky to 8th fret on the G string, on the 3rd string. And we're then going to do two quick down strums. Okay, so we have... Like that. And then we're going to take it off again and play another down strum. Quickly after those two strums we've just done. So, like that. Now, we'll do that three times in a row. So, one. So once we've played that, we're going to move up to a C minor chord. So our thumb is going to go to 8th fret on the low E string. Our first finger is now going to bar three strings. It's going to bar the 8th fret on the E, B and the G string. Like that. And then our third finger is going to 10th fret on the D string. Thumb is also still meeting the A string. Okay, we do not want that A in the chord. A little bit, a little bit trickier this chord from the B flat major, and we're just going to do a single strum on that chord like that. So once you've been through this three times, we then move up to the C minor and do a single strum. Like that. It's quite a quick change. It needs to be needs to be quite quick on that one, from the B flat to the C minor, like that. And there you have it. So the middle eight is relatively easy structure-wise, we've just got two different chords, but the chords are quite tricky. So we start on the C minor that we just finished the chorus with. Okay, so as soon as you've finished that chorus leading into the middle eight, we'll play that C minor again. And then we're going to an F major. Now I play it this way, First finger is on 8th fret on the A string, and then third finger is barring 10th fret on the D, G, and the B string. Okay, we're just going to play the A, D, G, and B. We're not going to play the high E string on this one. Okay. So as 
that way of playing the bar chord F major, or you can play it this way, which is first finger still on the eighth fret on the A string, and then sort of cramming your, your middle, third and pinky onto the tenth frets on the D, G and the B string. I find it a bit harder personally, but you might find this this, this way easier than, than this way. So pick what works best for you, try them both out, and then kind of stick with the one that you prefer most. Okay, so we do this C minor to F major transition four times, and that's the whole middle eight. So one, two, three, four. F. Climax, we actually strum one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on that F bar chord. So one, two, three, four. Like that, really building up the dynamics. Um, and then we actually break it down again for the chorus. It's just the electric guitar by itself, all the drums cut out. So that's all it is for the middle eight. It's just those two different chords, single strums on each chord. And then when we get to the end, we do those eight strums to really build up the dynamics into the into the final chorus. So that is all for this time. Thank you very much for watching. We have covered Jade Bird's latest release, Head Start. We've done the verse, we've done the chorus, we've done the middle eight. There's nothing else in there you'll come across that we haven't covered in this lesson. So good luck with playing it. If you like the video, please drop us a like. If you want more content, please subscribe to the channel. And if you're after one-to-one -one help with your playing, we do offer video call lessons, so please go and check out our website for more information about them. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.